Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Well in this video today we're going to answer a few questions we've had about designing for responsive devices. What I mean by that is we've got a few little things on the page here, look fine on the desktop, but when we go to tablet or mobile, let's just do that, I'm using Google Chrome here with the inspector tools, so I'm going to hit F12, hit my responsive toggle, let's make it big enough so you can see. On an iPhone things don't look quite the same, you've lost the aspect ratio of that image right there. And you may want to change things out to look different on a phone and on a tablet. It's not quite so bad on a tablet. Uh, iPad Air. Again, let's make it big. We've almost got our aspect ratio. That's actually pretty acceptable. But again, you can do different things for different devices and it's really easy. We're not going to use any coding for this today. It's just the inbuilt features of the Divi theme itself. So let's get started. I'm going to enable the Visual Builder. And once enabled, let's go down. I've got a slider here. It's automated and that's a typical candidate. I've had a lot of questions that, you know, love it on the desktop, but when they look at it on a mobile device, it doesn't look so good. And to ch check your designs on tablet and mobile, this is sort of Divi basics here. Hit the little purple button. And you've got a desktop. We're looking at the desktop view now. We've got a tablet. And we're looking at tablet view. And again, like I say, that's not too bad. That's not lost its aspect too much. But on mobile, it really is doesn't look like the same picture at all. It's twice the, the height. But we can adjust that quite easily. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to take it back to desktop size. And we'll go into the actual slider module itself. And then the first thing we probably want to edit is the title size when it gets down to a smaller device. So if we go over to our design tab, and you can either go down to your title text or you can just roll over it until you see the little blue paintbrush at the top there. Here's our title text. And this is common to all Divi modules. If you roll over the thing that you want to edit, some icons will appear. Go to the thing that you're concerned with, in our case it's our title text here, hit the little mobile phone type icon and it's going to bring up a desktop, which we're looking at now, a tablet version, like I say, that's not too bad on the tablet. In fact, I probably wouldn't adjust that. I may take a bit of the padding away on that one, but the actual title itself is fine. It's not too big there. And let's go to the mobile version on the right here. And this is where things get a bit crazy. Yeah, again, that title, I probably wouldn't take it down anymore. You could probably take this text down a little bit. So still in our design tab, if you hit the little paintbrush next to the text, It'll take you to the edit there. You want to be a bit careful because you want people to be able to read it. Let's go down to our body text size here. And again, you want to make sure you hit that and that you're on the right thing. We're on the mobile here. We can take it down to maybe 10. Probably wouldn't take it any smaller than that. That's actually not too bad, 12. And there's a lot of gap there. So let's take the gap down a little bit with the line height, it's 1.7 at the moment. We can take it down, 1.6 works fine. And that's adjusted a little bit there. We can now do the button, similar thing. So if we go down to the button, or again, you can just hover over it, click on the little paintbrush icon attached to it. Choose custom styles, and we can just take the text down size for that button text size right here. Again, make sure you click on the little mobile device, make sure you're on mobile. It's 20, let's take that down to say 12, maybe a bit small. And that gives us a bit more space. We can also adjust that padding top, bottom, left and right. So that'll give this a little more space and take a bit off all round. So if we go down a bit further, that's in our spacing down below. And in a moment, I'll show you another way of doing this. So let's take that padding down to maybe, let's say 10 pixels top and bottom. Maybe too much of a cut, really. Yeah, it's a little, not quite enough there. So let's say, say 15 pixels. I'm just gonna increment up to 15. 
hit the chain so it does the bottom as well. And it's getting there towards our aspect ratio. And I can take a lot away from left and right. Let's maybe take that down to five pixels. And I'll do the other side too. And that's a bit more like it. For me though, that's really not ideal. What I'd like to do is do a completely different one from the mobile that has less riding here that would make it look the aspect that we want. And to do that again, it's really easy. So if I go over here to our advanced, I'm gonna go down to visibility. And here we've got show content on mobile show call to action on mobile. So there's an option to get rid of that button and just have a link on the thing. If I turn that off, you'll see the button disappears, which does affect the aspect ratio. So that's another option for you. But what I want to do with this, actually, I want to disable it on the phone so we don't see it at all. And I want it to be visible on tablet and desktop there. Great, so we've done that. So this one's not actually going to appear when we look at it on a phone now. If we just save this. Save the draft and exit the Visual Builder. Now if I hit my F12 and we look on a mobile device, this slider should not be there at all. There it is on a tablet, it's still there. Let's flip to a phone. And as you can see, or as you can't see, it's not actually there, which is exactly what we want. Great. So now what we want to do is duplicate this and do a version that we actually want on our mobile devices. Very easy to do. Let's enable the Visual Builder. I'm simply going to go down. I'm going to duplicate this slider by hitting the little duplicate button right there. There's our clone one down the bottom. What I'm going to do is go into our clone one here. I'm going to go over to the advanced and we only want to see this one on the phone. So I'm going to go down to visibility. I'm going to uncheck the phone. Remember it's an identical copy of the one on top. I'm going to uncheck the phone and check tablet and desktop to hide it on tablet and desktop. Now we can go in and edit it just for our mobile phone. So we can go to our design. Let's get down to spacing. And again, make sure you go onto the thing you want to edit. Hit the little mobile phone icon. We'll go down to mobile. And as you can see, it's grayed out the one at the top there. And our one on the bottom is active so we can edit it. So let's take a bit of padding away top and bottom. Let's say perhaps 20 15 picks top and bottom. I think that's what we used on the other one. And maybe five left and right. That's actually not too bad. We could shave a little bit more off. What I'm going to do is take some of this text away. So we've actually got two completely different sliders and that gives it a lot more breathing room to me. Whereas there's too much, just too much text for me in that particular case. So to do that, I'm simply going to go into my content going to go into it and just select the amount of text that I actually want there. I'm going to delete that much of this one. And let's go into the second one. And we'll delete match for as much as you want of that one. Go back in there. It's fine. Let's have another look. There we go, that's not too bad at all. In fact, we could add a little bit more padding back to that. If we go back to our design where we change the padding, we can probably take that one away in the spacing, in the padding, and do something common to most Divi. If you do something you don't like it, simply hit the delete and it'll take it back to the default. Yeah, that's not quite enough. Let's, let's give it 20. There we go, that's gonna work for me, I think. So if we save this now, and save our page changes here, and you can exit the Visual Builder. There's our regular slide right there. Let's hit the F12, take a look at it on a mobile. And there's our one on the mobile phone version. And that looks absolutely fine. 
and you can do all kind of other things. We've got three little modules here. Let's change the background color of those perhaps and perhaps change the background color of this whole section on mobile. Again, really easy to do. Let's get out of my inspector here. We'll enable the visual builder. I'm going to go into my section here, blue tab for a section. I'm going to go down to the background, which is on the content tab here. And at the moment, there is no background color. Let's give it a white. You won't see any difference because it was default white anyway. Okay, now let's go over perhaps our little icon here. Let's go down to our mobile. And let's make our background color black. Obviously, choose whatever color you want. But obviously, that, that's going to add a bit of drama to it. Remember, we're not going to see that top one there. It's kind of grayed out. There's our bottom one. And we can change the background color of these perhaps to red or something like that. Really easy to do. Just save our changes there. Let's go into one of these modules down below. And again, I'm going to go in here. I'm going to go down to my background. And I'm going to hit little mobile phone. This is just to demonstrate there's plenty of different settings you can actually change to do this. As you can see, that's turned red, so it's going to be red on the mobile there. And you can probably even change the icon color if we go to our design, image and icon. Here's the icon color. There's a little mobile, so we can change that quite happily. Let's change that to uh, white on mobile. That's great. And I'm going to save that and for expediency rather than going to the uh, other modules. I could have just copied the styles across. Let's just get rid of these. Boom. And we'll replace it with this one that we made the changes on. I'm just going to clone it a couple times, drag it over with a little cross. Great, let's exit, save draft, exit the visual builder, and there it is. Now when we take a look at it on our mobile, we're going to have a completely different slider, and these are going to change colour, and the background's going to change colour. So let's hit my F12, and there it is. As you can see, we just got our regular slider there, which looks great. We've edited the text and everything like that. These have changed color just on mobile. And our section's got a different background color. Like I say, Divi gives you all kinds of options for editing for responsive devices. So take advantage of them. Those questions always come up. I quite often do demonstrations and I don't show people the demo on the tablet and mobile. And they say, well, what does it look like on there? So there's a few ways around of editing without using any coding at all. And that's a really useful thing to know. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.